All right, guys, hardest part of the video, we're getting it right out, right out of the gate. I need to say the name of this laptop correctly. This, sponsored by Lenovo, of course, is the Lenovo Slim 7i Pro X. Not the Yoga, it is in Europe, but not here. The charger that we get is 100 watts over USB Type-C. Really like to see it. I thought at first when I saw that it was yellow, it was Lenovo's little proprietary charger, which also in fairness is pretty good. All right, what else do we have in here? <laughs> it says Yoga Rate right on it. The good news is it's a good feeling laptop. Having a look at the IO, here you get two Thunderbolt 4 ports and you might want to use those for display as well because the HDMI that we have right here is only 2.0, not 2.1. So if you're hooking up to 4K display, uh, just use Thunderbolts. Over on the other side, we have a full size USB type A, headphone microphone combo, and oh, a little webcam disable. I'd like to see that. Overall though, this is um, a very laptop looking laptop. What I am impressed with though, is the overall chassis rigidity. You can see some like macro flexing here, but that's the sort of thing that like, when the whole deck as one piece flexes, you don't necessarily get it in the keys. Like, yeah, if you look at it, the keys, there's no deflection. It's just if I'm like really pushing it. Okay, the keyboard's great. We also have excellent key stabilization. So you can see here, like if I push on the side of the key, the whole key goes down instead of just like the corner going down. That's the sort of thing that allows you to have just a really fast typing experience, not have to kind of make sure that you're hitting the keys as opposed to just hitting the keys. Now, as well as having a fantastic keyboard, it's also not the laptop we are supposed to be looking at. Makes sense, uh, this one's the gray. This one right here's the teal. Also, this one does not say yoga right here. It just says Lenovo. What I find interesting though, is that the displays are not the same. On paper, they're the same, but in real life, they obviously are not. Now, they both are 120 Hertz panel. They also have a color calibrated from the factory. I think it's what, Delta E of less than one? That is mangled good, so you can definitely use this for your Lightroom or video editing or what you have you. Just what I don't get is that the US model is glossy and the European appears to be matte. The glossy one clearly has just nicer, more vibrant colors. Like the blacks look darker, the colors just look a little bit more colorful, but at the same time, uh, I can see my face in it if I want to. <laughs> Whereas the matte display, does an exceptional job of not showing me all of the crap that's around me, but at the same time, you know, it's just a little bit more washed up, especially with their great big light that's above my head. You don't think any of them are touch? No. Well, I think you're wrong. Oh Wait, what? This one not touch? For whatever reason, the one with the matte display does not have touch, and the one with the glossy screen does have touch. So before I was kind of leaning towards the matte display because you know, matte's nice. Touch is way better. I absolutely love touch on a laptop, especially one that's this light. How much does this thing weigh? Starts at 3.2 pounds. Damn, that's really good. Now 3.2 pounds might not sound like the lightest thing ever. There's much lighter laptops out there. The reason that's impressive is because of the specs of this thing. We, oh, damn, that is really impressive. We have an Intel i7 12700H, not even the P, they just give you the full fat 14 core 20 thread monster, damn. This thing has 32 gigabytes of RAM at 1600 megahertz DDR5. Okay, I'm legitimately impressed right now. I didn't look at this before. I just assumed it was like a P series. We also have one terabyte SSD, Intel Wi-Fi 6E, Iris XE graphics, of course, but you'll never use those because it also has an RTX 3050. Okay, this one's a bit more reasonable. 16 gigabytes of RAM, 1650, but it also still gets the 12700H for that massive CPU compute. Also just wanna mention that these are both on the Intel Evo platform. So that basically just means that it gets, what, more than nine hours of battery life, starts from sleep really fast, boots up super fast. One other kind of awkward thing is that it expressly states that we have to show you the Intel Evo badge. Cover up the other badging. There we go, Intel Evo. We now get to do our startup test. It should be real fast because it's on the Evo platform. And it is, there we go, we're in. Okay, now I'm kind of very legitimately concerned about having a processor that's that powerful in a chassis that is this small. It's going to thermal throttle. It's already thermal throttling. Uh, CPU package right now, it's at 86 degrees. Here we go. We're starting our Cinebench run. This right here isn't like a 
single one and done run to get a high score. This is just a, it's running for 10 minutes sort of thing. So we can find out what we're dealing with here. CPU is at 94, 95 degrees. Now if we open up Lenovo's little Vantage software here, power and performance. Actually, I'm just gonna chuck it right into extreme performance mode. There we go. It looks like that we're at 95 degrees Celsius on the CPU. That's like perfectly fine. What you have to realize is that the on modern CPUs, they don't care if they're running at 100 degrees the whole time. If you want in the BIOS, you can set it to go to 115 and it still will be perfectly fine. And our CPU, oh, she's struggling. Now you might see that this is, you know, for one, it's pretty loud at the moment. And also like it isn't going all that fast. It seems like we're doing all core 2.4 gigahertz, which sounds kind of slow, but we just need to put that into context for a second here. This was able to manage a bit over 11,000 points in Cinebench R23. For comparison, um, an i9-9900, that was a five gigahertz eight core processor from just a couple generations ago on a desktop. That's comparable to like a Ryzen 5 5600X. It's a very competent little machine. Now let's try and just get a proper score. We'll turn off, you know, OBS here, stop recording. We'll give it a second to cool down. Maybe I'll even I'll pop, prop it up. I think it'll love that. <laughs> Damn, all right. Turns out, you know, screen recording at the same time, uses up some resources. This thing was able to do 13,576 in Cinebench. That is freaking great for, oh, like look at this thing. It's so slim, how did they do that? I am genuinely impressed with this laptop. Now I don't want to mention that this tape definitely helped us out. That probably, I don't know, got us five, maybe even 10 more watts on the processor. Oh, we haven't even talked about the trackpad. The trackpad's great. It's big, it's glass topped, it's nice to use. Good trackpad. <laughs> All right, thank you, EU version of the laptop. You've served us well, but you're not as fast as our North American one. The number one game in the world, according to me, Valheim. Medium settings, large 1080p. We're looking at what, 30 FPS? Okay, we can do better than that, I think. Extreme performance, there we go. Yep, that got us 20 FPS, fantastic. This is a fantastic screen for playing games on. Like 3K, excellent. Also having the 120 Hertz, even though we're only getting 60 FPS in this game, makes everything so much more responsive. Even has G-Sync. It's basically a gaming laptop, but you don't have to like have it be so heavy. It is getting a little bit hot up here. Well, we'll, we'll play this until I die. Oh, I'm so dead. Oh, did you see that dodge roll? I died. All right, well, that's enough Valheim for this evening. <laughs> that was not a laptop issue. That was purely a skill issue. Uh, what else? We oh, Crabrave, Crabrave. Almost opened it up too fast. Let's have a gander at that. Yeah. How many nits is it, 400? Well, the speakers are fine. We want to just be clear here. It's not incredible compared to some of the top end laptops, but if you're comparing it to a laptop from a couple years ago, it's the same as the best ones that existed then. It's this large. You can only make your speakers so good. This is our webcam right here. I feel like if you took the time to set up the lighting, this camera could be quite good. I'm really blown out, kind of right in my forehead and stuff. It's kind of weird. Yeah, it's a very challenging scene, I want to be clear. And once I turn it into the pure camera mode, it seems to figure it out. Like this is really good, I'll just take a photo. Another one, I'll smile for this one. It exposed perfectly for my face for the photo. Okay, I'm, we're gonna go for a little tour here, Mr. Laptop. Okay, this is still a very challenging scene, but it's doing slightly better. But we have so many lights and stuff, okay. I'm sorry, Andy, one second. It's, hey. it's still not quite exposing correctly. The webcam, I would say, if you put in the work, it's going to be really good. If you have kind of a weird scene like we have here, it's gonna struggle. That said, for a Zoom call, like, it's more than good enough. Windows Hello facial recognition, it has it. It's my favorite way to get into a computer. It just works great, you open it up, and then you get logged in, love it. Now what we get to do is take it apart. All right, let's see how repairable she is. Okay, okay. Well, in here we get a 70 watt hour battery. They say it'll get you 13 hours of battery life. 
and more like nine under load. One thing I want to just have a chat about for a second is Windows Modern Standby. I'm gonna bring it up in every single short circuit from now on until it's fixed. Uh, Lenovo, go to Microsoft and just kick them in the nuts. It's one of the worst things they've done in years. And so every single laptop, including this one, will do just this really annoying thing where for the most part it's fine and the battery lasts and it's great. Then sometimes you put it in your backpack and it wakes up and then you take it out and it's burning hot and your battery's dead and everyone's very sad. It's been happening for like two years at this point. Just go to Microsoft and get very mad at them. Modern standby, it's awful. Fortunately though, this laptop has fast charging. So they say that it'll be able to get four hours of battery life off of half an hour of charging. The upgradability is about what you expect for a laptop in this class. It looks like you cannot upgrade the RAM, so make sure you get how much you want from the factory. You can swap your Wi-Fi card right there. SSD is removable. The battery also comes out, and it looks like underneath that, even the trackpad can be removed, which is very nice. I am very surprised that this cooler is able to do 45 watts of cooling, though. Like, we, we saw it do that. It clearly can. The fin pitch on these fans, they are just super duper small fins. They did a really good job at, even though they were kind of on the loud side, not being annoying. That's like very key. Okay, Jake, we, we need to figure out the price point of this laptop. Having a look in here, it's pretty clear that the whole chassis was CNC machined. Like we can look in here, that's why it's so rigid. That's why it feels amazing. Given the specs and the screen and the chassis, this thing has to be very expensive. You're, you're, you're guessing 1400? This thing feels like 22, I think. We'll have the actual price right here. <laughs> if it's lower than 2000, can we have balloons? It's a good laptop. <laughs> I'm surprised how much power they were able to cram into something that's this small. Yeah, if you're like a content creator, video editor, light gamer, it's a pretty fantastic little machine. I can't like, you know, thumbs up, thumbs down it because we don't know the price and it's sponsored. Take from that what you wish. <laughs> so huge thanks to Lenovo for sponsoring this video. If you guys want, you can just like start sending us laptops. You don't need to sponsor all of them. This is just a good laptop anyway. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys wanna purchase it, links will be down below and just have a fantastic day. Hit like, get subscribed, so long.